Hey there. Coach Michael Burt. I believe everybody needs a good coach in life. Out taking a walk and uh, if you're just now like finding out about me or you're just coming across this video, I was a former high school championship women's basketball coach. Got there at 19 years old as an assistant. Spent, spent three years being an assistant. I do believe that behind every great number one is a great number two. Became a great number two. And was fortunate enough to become the head coach at 22. Making me the youngest head coach in the state of Tennessee. At the second largest high school. Spent a decade just grinding. When I say grinding, man. I mean married to one thing. Basketball. Working 12, 14, 16 hour days. Um, taking a program that had never won a championship in 30 years and converting it to a championship program. It took me 10 years to do that. 10 years of my life. 10 years of, uh, 10 years of sacrifice, man. Along the way, I was using some unorthodox methodology, primarily the whole person theory from a guy I learned named Dr. Stephen Covey. And Covey taught me how to tap into the whole person. The body, the mind, the heart, and the spirit. So I began writing books on this concept of activating the potential in people. Uh, this would get me a little bit of attention. And uh, wouldn't make me that known, but it would get me a little bit of attention. And because I had books, now I got a message. Now because I got a message, I'm getting out and I'm speaking to people. I had no intentions of becoming wealthy. I had no intentions of, I didn't really know what my intentions were to be honest with you. I just knew I wanted to coach and win championships. I wanted to build winners from the inside out. I wanted to build a competitive intelligence and I want to be the best coach in the world. I mean, that's all I knew guys. So I write this book and people began to, to call me and ask me to speak. And they were big companies, right? State Farm, Dell Computers, National Healthcare, Vanderbilt University, Century 21, Remax, Cowell Banker, mortgage companies, home builders, insurance agencies. And I would get in there and I would like really, really see that everybody fights the same battles, number one. And number two, Everybody needs a good coach in their life. So I spend 20 to 30. Now, this is very important to the equation we're going to talk about tonight because we're talking about how do you become a millionaire? How do you make your first million? How to be worth, how to become at least a single digit millionaire. Let's, let's call it that because I've got a book called Single Digit Millionaire. And there's a formula that I, that I used, right, to become a single digit millionaire. I, I'm not yet a double digit millionaire, but I did go from being a high school basketball coach to a millionaire and and you can do this too right in 2017 there was a poll there, there was a study that said there were 500,000 millionaires people that earned over a million dollars a year in 2017 now, I want you to think about that there was only 4,000 people that climbed Mount Everest 500,000 people in the United States, that's just in the U.S., that earned over a million dollars of personal income. Now, my goal for every person, for every person that I coach, is to get them earning over a million dollars of personal income. Now, you see that guy right there, that big house? That's somebody I've been coaching for seven years. He's a mortgage originator, earned over a million dollars last year. He's going to earn over a million dollars this year. Most of the people in this subdivision that I live in, uh, all of these houses are at least a million three, maybe more. I'd say a million three all the way up to three million in this one subdivision. It's only eight houses. Now, here's my point. How do you do that? That dude was a high school basketball coach. I was a high school basketball coach. We literally never made more than $60,000 a year. Never. But if 500,000 people can do it in the United States, surely to goodness, we can get there. First step is you got to believe it, man. 
But that wasn't my intention. Like I didn't set out to be a millionaire. I set out, and, I, and I'm gonna borrow this from T.D. Jakes. I didn't set out to be famous or rich. I set out to be effective. And the more effective I became, the more money I made. So the formula in the book, Single Digit Millionaire, you can grab that right now on my website. It's completely free. And it is the story of how I went from a high school basketball coach to a millionaire, okay? Now, like I said, it wasn't methodical. Initially, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't well thought out. Like now I'm getting a lot more strategic at 43 years old. Now I'm thinking better. Now I'm thinking, how do I make money easier? Now how do I leverage influence? Now how do I solve bigger problems? Like now I'm thinking like that at 43. I wasn't thinking like that when, um, when I wrote that first book. I wrote that first book because I felt like I had something to say. Like many of you in the world do. But, but what I, when I backtrack and I said, how did I do this? How did I do this? Because the number one question I get asked around the country is how did you go from, from, from this high school basketball coach to this? Like, how did, you, how did you monetize this? Right? How did you turn it into this, this bigger deal, right? Well, here's the formula. Step one, build a primary skill. And that skill's got to be good. You don't make a million dollars a year or $2 million a year, guys, with a weak skill. I call it a primary skill. Dan Sullivan called it a unique ability. Okay, Covey may have called it finding your voice. And when I say primary skill, all the big time people initially had a primary skill. Cardone was a salesperson. Zuckerberg was a coder, right? My lad, a connector. Bradley, a salesperson. Tim Story's primary skill was uh, preaching. Okay? He went to seminary school. So when you when you hear me talk about this, what, I, what I'm going to tell you is you build this primary skill, right? And when you build this primary skill, what happens is you start to build a demand for that skill. The primary skill is some unique skill you have that you have refined over a long cycle of time that the world desperately needs. Your skill solves my problem. Your skill comes from your past. I'm paying you for your past. Your past helps me build my future attention to time because I got to be on Tim Story Live tonight. Now, everybody, everybody seeing what I'm saying with this? Your past pays, uh, it helps me with my future. So step one, build a primary skill. My skill, or identify a primary skill. My skill was inner engineering people to win through the whole person theory. Who did I learn the whole person theory? From Dr. Covey from 18 to 25. It's the one person I studied. So, you're building a primary skill. The stronger the skill is. See, money doesn't buy you freedom. Skills buys you freedom. See, most people think money buys them freedom. No. Money, doesn't, money buys these houses, but skills creates the money to buy these houses. So, you got your primary skill, and you're building that skill over a cycle of time. Typically 10 years is what most people say. Hey there. Typically 10 years, okay? You're building this skill over a 10 year cycle. That's, a, that's the rule of 10,000 hours of practice. The better that skill is, the more money you're gonna make. You can fish for blue gills, or you can fish for blue marlins with that skill. You can solve little skills and get paid little money, or you can solve big skills and get paid big money. Little skills, little problems, little money. Big skills. Big problems, big money. We teach this in our coaching program, Monster Producer. So first step, primary skill. Have you located yours? And do you know what problem it solves for people? Number two, becoming a millionaire. 
at least a single digit millionaire because you can't be a double digit millionaire until you become a single digit millionaire is you got to build demand for that skill and this is something at 43 years old i'm just now getting better at you got to market and distribute you got to tell and educate the world why do you think i'm out here in my subdivision walking around on a sunday night why do you think i'm on tim story live tonight why do you think i speak on stages around the country why do you think i got a bus hey check out that house right there isn't that sweet brand new to the subdivision welcome neighbors now why do you think i need to be i need to be educating people on my skill of coaching what i really do for people which is help a lot of people find their primary skill build demand for that skill market and distribute that skill right help people take a skill and make millions of dollars with it through coaching them through a structure so step one find the primary skill step two you got to build demand for the skill that's why i wrote the book person of interest you can't sell a secret folks you need to be distributing the skill to the world at a very very high frequency right you need to be distributing the skill at a very high frequency so some of you don't have a talent problem you literally have a marketing problem which is the problem i think i've got got a strong skill i need to better distribute that skill to the market i need to educate I need to coach people on on how my skill can solve their problem okay this is something we all need to be doing really hey how you doing neighbors are friendly that's such a friendly little neighborhood see that right there thing shuts locks everybody out now i got i, I got a skill i'm building demand for that skill how distribution marketing advertising promoting promotion got to get better promotion all of us have to get better promotion. Then, here's what happens. People start to pay us more money for the skill. We begin to get more results. It becomes a cycle. It begins to produce referrals. It begins to produce new clients. It begins to produce new, what I call associations. And new associations are new people that are coming into the funnel. Speaking engagements feed the funnel. Free books feed the funnel. Promotion feeds, feeds the funnel. Referrals feed the funnel. Hit list feed the funnel. Right? We got to feed the funnel, guys. Over and over and over again. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to wake up and you're going to have all of these people who want your skill. Then you're going to have to figure out how to scale that skill. Right? Right? How do you scale it to a higher frequency? How do you manufacture it to a bigger level? These are all things you're going to have to figure out if you're going to become a millionaire. So now I'm building demand for the skill. I got all these people who want the skill because you're getting results with the skill. Now you're going to do what I call create structures of exchange. All of this is in the book, Single Digit Millionaire. A structure of exchange is where you bring this network of people who want your skill together. And then they figure out a couple things happen when you bring them together, when they get excited. They're around other like-minded, dynamic people. Like gravitates toward like. Association breeds assimilation, right? That's the first thing that happens, they get excited. And when they get excited, they need something else they can purchase, they can take advantage of, something to push them to in the future. But also, your value goes up because the value of any network is, is exponentially grown by each individual participant that is added to the network. So you don't want a network of 10, you want a network of 10,000, 10 million. And you want to allow this network to exchange with each other. Everybody hear that word? Exchange, energy, money, time, expertise, deal flow. See, I just had 40 to 50 people at my lodge this past week, week Thursday, Friday for my Monster Growth Boot Camp. It's where I break a system down, a selling system, the explanation of service, follow up, extraction of referrals. How do you become a person of interest? That's all part of a system I call the Monster Growth System. 
And, and so we had these people at the lodge, right? And these people got, came from all over, Miami, New Jersey, Arizona. And man, when they got there together, whew, goodness, did they have fun. A, they loved it. B, they're excited. C, they want to do more things. And D, they built partnership. They exchanged. Now, why is this so critical? You don't need more money. You need more people. People have the money you're looking for. So if you're trying to go to this single-digit millionaire, see, I couldn't do that as a high school basketball coach. I didn't have enough feeder systems. I didn't have enough profit centers. I didn't have enough flows of income. I didn't have enough tactics and strategy. I only had one or two. Okay? That's Coach Bird's house right there behind me. Okay? Now, love that place. Now, here's, here's my point, guys. I was just a high school basketball coach with one flow of income. Then I wrote a book. Now I got two flows, although I wasn't selling any copies. The book, it wasn't like the book was making me money. The book was just giving me a message. The book was just opening doors. The book was just forcing me to get clear. The book was just, right? The book gave me something to sell. More importantly, it gave me a message. It gave me a reason to get in front of people. You don't need more money, you need more people, okay? So, once I wrote the book, now I got, now I'm getting paid to coach, now I'm getting paid to write, now I'm getting paid to speak. And then I would go out and speak and companies would say, will you coach our people, right? And this is where the big money started to come in, is that they begin offering me six figures to be the coach of their teams, which is I would come into a company and I would spend a year and I would help them drive some ridiculous results. 40% increase, 50% increase, high morale culture, high prey drive. They go tell their friends. So I'm coaching home builders, and mortgage companies and banks, insurance companies. Guess what, they were, guess what they were paying me to do? Use my primary skill to solve a problem. We wanna get increase. We want to get people motivated. We want to train our leaders and coaches, right? That's the primary skill I'm still using to this day, guys. Now, once you get to step four in the book, Single Digit Millionaire, I've got a primary skill. I've built demand. I've marketed and distributed that skill. I've got networks. I'm exchanging with those networks. Where the real money comes in and the net worth is grown is when you take excess cash from your business and you buy assets with it. Or you buy things that may look like liabilities, but you use as assets. Now, I could do a whole session on this, guys, where I buy things that most people think are liabilities. Jet, houses, offices. On paper, an accountant would go, that's a liability, it's costing you money. No. That lodge is making money. That jet is saving time and raising status. That lodge is bringing people to it. That place in Nashville is getting people excited. That greatness factory we're building is gonna make millions of dollars and we're gonna license it and franchise it. See, the common person, shh, feel sorry for them. Let me tell you why. They look at everything as an asset or liability. It ain't that clear, man. They're what's called invisible assets intangibles i know that because i was a basketball coach let me give you an intangible trust is an intangible can you measure that on a profit and loss statement energy can you measure that on a profit and loss statement here's one for you prey drive you sure as hell can't manage prey drive on a profit and loss statement but you know if it's there or not see the normal accountant don't know how to look at intangible assets which is why they very seldom become wealthy they're playing too conservative constantly they don't understand that that sometimes you generate money by being creative. You be creative and you create structures of exchange. So you take money from your business and you go buy, typically they're gonna tell you to buy assets, right? Cardone's gonna tell you to buy apartment complexes. Nothing wrong with that. Some people are gonna tell you to build commercial structures. Some people are gonna tell you to buy single family residential. Some people are gonna tell you to buy trailer parks. Don't matter, I don't buy any of those things. I put money back into things that are intentionally congruent house in Florida that we rent when we're not using, but we use to coach. Jet that I can take people on, right? And get to things faster. Lodge where I can do events and rent out. Uh, 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 let's see if you can see it. A uh, 
Sprinter right there. Is that a liability or is that an asset? That thing cost me 103,000 bucks. One of the best investments I ever made. You know how many deals I've done on that Sprinter? You know how cool it is to take somebody to a concert on that Sprinter? Do you know Do you know how cool it is to pull up and, and get on that and then get on that Sprinter? It's got a bathroom on it, man. Come on. So, I'm telling you all this because guys, I know what you're thinking, man. I can't do this, but you can. I'm, I mean, I'm literally living proof that you can do it. I went from a high school basketball coach to doing this. Why? Because I believed in me. I believed in my bigger future. I didn't have a business plan. I didn't have any great coaches, business coaches from 20 to 30, which is a huge regret. I just had a belief and confidence in me, a contagious confidence in me. So I want to give this away to you now, man. I'm 43 years old. I'm thinking about my legacy. I'm, in, I'm very interested in helping people. I mean, I'm a coach. I had so much fun coaching those people at our lodge, man. It just, it just made my whole day that those people would come and say. So one of the things we coach on is uh, we coach on, on how to do this. How do you build your primary skill? How do you find your primary skill? Let's get back here in the back area. It's my favorite part of the whole house. This is the money shot right here. As soon as you come in, it's just something about that shot right there I just, I just love when I come around the corner. So how do you do it? How do you find your primary skill? Our coaching will help you. How do you how do you build demand for that skill? Our coaching will help you. How do you build structures of exchange? Our coaching will help you. I got a real estate guy, coach, one of my best friends. He said, man, I'm using my personal house to do deals, to bring people over to, to get them excited, to build stronger relationships. Like he, he says, man, it's genius. I didn't know it was genius. I just was doing it. And then I kind of figured it out afterward. Like when I was doing retreats down in Florida, I'm like, man, these people love this. This is incredible. I love it. And, I, and I'll come back and do another session on uh, intentional congruence. How do you build these things? How do you build these things? Man, these people that reach out to me on Facebook, they got to get better at follow-up. They got to read my book, Million Dollar Follow-Up. So I got to get to this thing with Tim Story. Tim Story live tonight. I really need to already be gone. Conversations that change. I hope this was helpful to you. Guys, I went from living in a small town of Woodbury, Tennessee, to being a being an elementary school basketball coach, to being a high school basketball coach, to, to write my first book that's now turned into 16 books. And I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, man, people out there have formulas you can use. I've been coached by some of the best people in the world. I've invested in myself. That's you, man. That can be you. So I want to encourage you. Look at my coaching program, Monster Producer. Pick up a copy of the book, Single Digit Millionaire. It's free at my bookstore right now. You can get it for free. Pick up a copy of that book and get on over there and let's start this cycle for you, man. I like to tell people, we, we will, you lose 10% of momentum every day you don't take action. Every day that you don't take action, you lose 10% of momentum. You can book it. So why would you lose 10%, man? Why wouldn't you get started? I wish I'd have known this stuff at 21. I didn't know the difference between an asset and a liability. At 31 years old, I had to buy a book called uh, How to Grow Your Financial IQ. Now, here's what's interesting. This Saturday night, I'm having dinner with the woman who wrote that book, Sharon Lecter, out in Phoenix. So, I believe everybody needs a coach. I believe a good coach can change your life. Let me be your coach. If you're out there in the world and you're trying to transition, you're trying to go from a high school basketball coach. I worked in a bank. I pumped gas. Um, like, like, if you're trying to transition from something to something, man, I know how to do it. I'm, I can help you. Everybody needs a good coach, and a good coach can change your whole life. You guys have a great Sunday. Happy Father's Day to all the daddies out there. Okay? Happy Father's Day to you, man. I'm proud of you. Hope you do great, and uh, let's have a big week.